This hack tip is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Shannon Morris, and today I'm checking out an alternative to VirtualBox called VMware Player. In the episode 10 of Hack Tip, we went over virtual machines, what they are, why you would use them, and what they're good for. But you don't necessarily have to use VirtualBox to try out a VM. There are plenty of virtual machine programs on the market, but not all of them are free and easy to use. VMware Player is both of these with a whole bunch of awesome sauce built in as well. This program, available over at VMware.com, lets you run several operating systems virtually as well as give you the comfort and safety of trying out new software in a VM. Because sometimes, software you might download is just downright janky crapware. Over 200 different operating systems are supported, including various versions of Windows, Linux, and even Chrome OS. Yeah, pretty cool. When you first download VMware Player, you'll need to register for a new VMware account. They ask for your name, a password, some geographical data, but that's about it. The installation wizard is your normal process of yeses and next. Now upon opening, the general layout is just about the same as VirtualBox. I'm gonna go ahead and open up mine real quick. On the right hand side, you can choose to create a new VM, you can open one and you can upgrade to the paid VMware account, or you can choose help. Click on create a new virtual machine and choose installer disk image file dot, well, ISO. So I'll do that, choose an ISO. And to choose an ISO, all you have to do from here is browse to your ISO for the operating system that you wanna try out. I'm going to go ahead and browse to my puppy Linux ISO and choose open. On the next screen, you just click next. And this is where you're going to choose the Linux and in the drop down menu, you'll choose other Linux 2.6 kernel. Also, if you choose a different kind of Linux distro, just find it in the list and click on it, and then you can choose how much space is allocated for the VM. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with eight gigs. So I choose Linux, and I chose 2.6 kernel, choose next. And it asks me what I wanna name it, so I'll name it number two, number two. And click next. And this is where it asked me for the eight gigs. Eight gigs, store virtual disk as a single file. Makes it much easier that way. Don't wanna do any customization, so I'm going to go ahead and click next and start it up. Once you're done, you can boot up into your VM and test it out. So let's see if mine runs. Hmm. Currently booting. But it's going, so that's good. Sweet, mine looks to boot just as it should, but this isn't all there is to VMware Player. After the break, I'm gonna show you some really cool extras that come with VMware Player and who I chose as my fave, VMware Player or VirtualBox. Stay tuned. With more than 23 million members, Netflix is the world's largest subscription service instantly streaming TV episodes and movies over the internet. For one low monthly price, Netflix Unlimited members can instantly watch TV episodes and movies streaming to their TVs and computers. With Netflix, you can cancel anytime. Netflix Unlimited members can instantly watch thousands of titles on a vast array of devices streaming TV episodes and movies like Microsoft's Xbox 360, Sony's PS3 game console, and the Nintendo Wii console. Find movies that you love easily. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you can instantly watch as many movies as you want, anytime you want. You can cancel anytime. Watch as many movies as you want for one low monthly price. Get your free trial membership. Go to netflix.com slash HAK5 and sign up now. Be sure to use this URL so that they know we sent you. And I'm back. And before I reveal which one was my favorite between VirtualBox and VMware Player, I'd like to take a moment and mention some little extras. VMware Player comes with some handy tools, such as this one called VMware Browser Appliance, which can be found on their website right here. You download this zip file from the website and you extract it. Then in VMware Player, you choose to open a virtual machine and browse to the folder. So I'm gonna open a virtual machine and I've already browsed to the folder. It's called browserappliance.vmx and I choose open. Then I can double click on that and I can browse on the internet. Mm, deliciousness. 
The browser appliance allows you to securely browse the internet using Firefox to protect against adware and spyware, and you can safeguard your personal information, as it can be configured to reset itself each time it's booted up so that no info is stored. Also available is this wide array of virtual appliances found over at VMware.com. These applications can help you with information in the cloud, storage, IT administration, networking, and much, much more. So now that I've checked out both VirtualBox and VMware Player, I have to say, I think I like VirtualBox more. Hmm. While both are free to use and work with all sorts of VMs, VirtualBox seems to be a little bit faster in the guest OS as well as the host OS. Also, VMware Player only lets you use one virtual machine at a time, while VirtualBox will let you open many at a time. So that's it. Enter your comments below. I want to know which one was your favorite, VirtualBox or Virtual VMware Player, and why? Virtual machines are actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Also, I want to hear your feedback. What programs, commands have you found? What's cool in your world? Hit me up, tips at hack5.org. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there, reminding you to trust your technolust. Wow. You didn't see that.